architects. I started working with Architect Tonica in the late 90s uh, as their preservation specialist on the uh, Royal Palm and Shorecrest, uh, which was the known at the time as the African American Hotel project, Donahue Peebles. And so it was a competitive process, uh, Architect Tonica with me as the preservation architect, and we fought and scratched and figured out how to win that project among seven other competing teams, and um, we won it. And um, I think Architect Tonica did a very good job of keeping the new buildings perpendicular to the ocean and to Collins uh, Avenue, whereas all the other teams seemed to want to kind of, you know, turn it this way and block off the, the breeze and the view and everything else. And ours paralleled the Shorecrest and the Royal Palm and just came in right behind those two. That was fraught with some difficulties, I understand. That was fraught with difficulties because as we got into it, we were not really allowed until after Mr. Peebles took possession of the property, we could not do extensive structural testing. It was sort of, there was no legal way to allow him to do that. And as we got in, we found out that the concrete in the Royal Palm Hotel was all under strength. It was all, it was a post and post and beam building as opposed to a masonry bearing wall building like most small hotels on South Beach that are just masonry walls that hold up the structure. This was all post and beam. So it was columns and beams and the concrete in the columns and beams was 30% under capacity and the tests all over the building showed that it was kind of crumbling because essentially it had been made either from beach sand or from some brackish water that they may have pumped up when they mixed the concrete or both. Um, so uh, it, it, no engineer would sign off on a true restoration of the building. So then we had to switch gears and uh, apply to do a faithful reconstruction of the building. And fortunately we had good measurements. It was still there. We could take every single measurement we needed to. We took some DNA out of the building. We carved uh, chunks of the terrazzo floor out. We saved the historic uh, res uh, reception desk, moved that out for a year and a half while it was under reconstruction, moved it back in. Um, so we, we, we did the best we could do. Re faithful reconstruction is the lowest common denominator of preservation work, you know. They did that in, in Warsaw. They did that in other European cities that were you know, bombed and devastated, you know, after the war, and they had good records of, you know, important civic monuments. And we pig figured these were sort of important civic hotels, so we would, we would uh, reconstruct them.